Straight ahead, Fox 4 News at 10. One bad decision is all it takes. With the holidays approaching, a reminder of the costs of drunk driving. From the station that's working for you, you're watching Fox 4 News at 10. I think DUI cuts across every facet of life. We see people from college students to soccer moms uh, to dads, you know, who go to work every day. A crime that spikes during the holiday season can kill people and put a big dent in your bank account. Right now, Jackson County Sheriff's deputies are priming their breathalyzer machines. Tonight's sobriety checkpoint is the first across the metro as we approach the holidays. Fox Force Kitty Banks is working for you to see how much sliding behind the wheel could cost you if you drink and drive. Well, Abby, we are not revealing the location for tonight's checkpoint, but it's a place where deputies say a lot of alcohol related crashes happen and where tonight they're going to be making arrests, ones that could throw your life and your wallet into chaos. Holiday parties and long happy hours. The drinks flow and the inhibitions go. More gatherings in general. More people are out in restaurants, uh, bars, spending money. And uh, as a consequence, more people are driving uh, after they've consumed some alcohol. Celebrations that foster more DUI offenders as arrests jump 33% between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day when compared to the rest of the year, according to a recent study by Alcohol Monitoring Systems. So it, it hits everybody. Anybody who would be out and about, you know, um, enjoying an adult beverage and getting behind the wheel. Criminal defense attorney John Paserno has more than two decades of experience and has defended hundreds of DUI cases. He says arrests and convictions come at a high cost. <laughs> From hiring a lawyer, posting bail, paying car impound fees, court costs and fines, <laughs> to higher insurance premiums, treatment programs, and required ignition interlock systems, he says you're looking up to $7,500 for a first offense. And then, of course, uh, if you're a repeat offender uh, for a second time offender, then those fees all go up significantly. You could also lose your license, your job, and your clean criminal record, not to mention you could pay the ultimate price if you kill someone or yourself. Of the people I've represented that have taken a life while they were uh, driving while intoxicated, uh, almost all of them, um, I think, uh, will live the rest of their lives feeling that, feeling that pain. So Paserno suggests you avoid it all by calling a friend, a cab, or an Uber and save all that money for your Christmas list. It's just much easier financially, economically, socially, and it's safer for society if people will do that. Officers will be back out on the roadways next week for Blackout Wednesday. That's the night before Thanksgiving that is quickly earning the reputation as one of the biggest drinking nights of the year. Katie Banks, Fox 4 News, working for you live in Kansas City, Missouri.